Hey guys, it's Isabella. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Today we're going to go over all of the copies of Little Women I have, which is my favourite classic of all time. Now, before I get into this video, I do want to say I know I look kind of rough right now and I'm sorry if the fan is annoying. It is just, it's too hot, okay? It's too hot in Australia, it's summer here, and I just can't function. I can't function. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott is arguably one of the best books of literature. It's amazing, but in order to give you a synopsis, I am going to read straight from one of my books because I don't want to spoil anything, and I feel like this explains it really well. So, the four March sisters Meg, Joe, Beth and Amy live in financial hardship in New England with their mother while their father has been drafted to fight in the Civil War. The girls embark on a series of adventures and endure a number of unexpected misfortunes, experiences that allow their personalities to emerge. Meg, sensible and outgoing, Joe, literary and boyish, Beth, musical and shy and Amy, artistic and selfish, but the bonds holding together the March family remain unbroken. So it is literally just a family about four sisters, their mother and their father and their relationships and it is heavily character based upon each of the sisters. They are completely different, completely different and it is just really amazing to see each character and each character's development and it is just fantastic. Anyway, so Little Women is my favourite classic as I said before. I have read a few others that I really enjoyed but just nothing has come close to my love for Little Women and it is the only book that I collect multiple copies of um, just because like there are some books I have multiple copies of but that is either like I have an annotated version and an annotated version or maybe one signed but these I just buy every time I see them like if I see a copy that I don't have I'm like oh well I need that so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight copies, which I only started collecting these like last year. So it's still kind of a new thing. Um, and the majority of these I did get secondhand. I think I got two of these new, which is pretty good. All right, I'm gonna start with the copy of Little Women that the birds, every video, every video. I swear they don't like this usually, like they're literally, Never. Just when I'm filming. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start with the copy of Little Women that I read originally. This was the copy that sparked it all. And it is a simplified version of Little Women. This is it. I have actually quite a few books from this um, adaptation. This, what would you call this? Publishing. It's an adaptation by Archie Oliver. So it's Archie Oliver's adaptation of it. It does have some like cute little illustrations and it is just Little Women but simplified so this is really good for readers that are like teens or like tweens, younger readers because it's just so easy to read and it started all. I have Peter Pan, Secret Garden, Anna Green Gables and the Wizard of Oz in this edition as well and they're really cute too like they genuinely look really pretty especially in the shelves also I don't know how long this video is gonna be it's probably not gonna be that long at all but I still wanted to film it because I wanted to make videos that reflect me as a reader and this is the first book I'm gonna recommend to you if you ask me for recommendations so I felt it was only right anyway this next copy isn't the prettiest it could be the oldest possibly but it doesn't actually have like a publication date in it which is a little bit frustrating it's by Whitman Publishing Company and it's illustrated by Jill Elgin Elgin um, I will show you the artwork because it is pretty it's gorgeous the only color is like yellow which is unique and I really like it this is definitely a book that I got purely just to collect. I love that the pages are like brown and old. This is an ancient book. It's been around a while and it's just cute. It's not the prettiest cover, but it's got character. It's got character and I think that's why I picked it up. Alrighty, this next book I got secondhand as well. It has been drawn on like in pen, 
Like, I don't know if you can see that, but some little kid's gone and, like, drawn on the cover. But I don't, I don't care. It's still cute. Um, I am losing my voice, too. If I'm starting to get croaky. <clears throat> Ignore that. Um, this is by Penel Books. That's who published it. And it was published in 1977. So, I feel like that's not that long ago. But, like, it is, but it's not. You know what I mean? Like, it's a fair while, but... I really like this cover if we ignore like the drawings that are on it, which I honestly could probably get that out. It's just pen, but I really love the look of this one, the dress. It's giving me like Bridgerton, even though that's like absolutely not even close to what this story is about. It just, I like the vibes. Um, yeah, like I said, this is another one I picked up secondhand. This one doesn't have any illustrations in it, so it's just text, which isn't my favorite because I just like illustration but you know it's it is what it is I guess it's cute it's another one that I got merely for the collectible side of it not for the actual gonna read it side of it you know next book I got which you guessed it I got secondhand as well this is just like a flimsy little paperback I got um, in case I ever wanted to annotate it, this would be the copy I used just because I don't want to annotate like a super pretty copy. I don't know why, that's just how my brain works. But this is it, it's just a little paperback. Ignore the really ugly sticker, it wouldn't come off anyway. Very cute cover, I love covers like this. I don't know, it's just, I just do. Okay, some people hate it, I love it. Um, this was published in 2012 by um who published you um translatic press yes translatic wait am i saying it wrong transatlantic Transatlantic Press. Right, that took me way too long. I'm so sorry. Transatlantic Press published this book. This is like very popular, like paperback though. You can get it like everywhere. Um, yeah, this one I have seen quite a lot. It's one of those, you know, basic black classic covers. But like I said, if I want to annotate, this will be the book that I use. I do want to read A Little Woman once a year. So obviously, I want to read it this year. I am. A little unsure when I'm going to read it though because Little Women is set in Christmas, like around Christmas time and also like winter time. But I live in Australia so our winter is like June, July, not at Christmas. So I don't know if I should wait till Christmas or if I should just read it when it's winter. I don't know. I feel like maybe when it's winter because it's my birthday in the winter time and I like this book. But I don't know. It's a really good Christmassy book too. Anyway, the reason I'm saying this is because the next time I read Little Women, it will be this gorgeous copy. Um, a moment. A moment for the book. Are you kidding me? This is my favorite one cover-wise. It is stunning. This story actually includes Good Wives as well, which is like a semi-separate story. Um, not many of the editions I have include that, which is really cool. This was published in 2021, so it is a pretty re recent release, and it was published by Wordsworth Editions, so yeah, this is just stunning. Like the cover, I feel like this cover best represents what Little Women's about. Like this is exactly, it's the perfect cover for me, and also the gold foiling, brownie points. I'm just really excited to pick this one up. It doesn't have any illustrations, but I'm honestly don't really care because it has a pretty cover and that's enough for me. I'm also living for like the brown, the piano. Oh my gosh, I'm here for it. The most recent edition of Little Women I picked up, which was literally yesterday as I'm filming this, is this one. This cover I feel like I have seen quite a lot, this like silhouette. Um, I feel like it's kind of common. It was illustrated by Ella Bailey, as it says here, and it was published. Oh, it does. It does have illustrations. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cute. Okay, sorry. I haven't actually looked inside this book yet. Considering I bought it, you would think I would do that, but I didn't. Um, this was published by Alma 
books in 2016. So that's still kind of recent. Um, super cute. I'll probably read this next year, so 2024, because I'm reading that other edition. But this will be probably my next edition. Is it crazy that I'm planning this? Like I'm literally like, yeah, I'll read this in like 2024. And then I'll probably read my next book in 2025. <laughs> this next one I got secondhand. Oh, by the way, I did get this one new. I got this from QBD Books and I also got this one from QBD Books. I forgot to say that. Um, they are the only two books in this haul that I got brand new. So this next book, which is, you can buy this at QBD, but I got this for $3 at a thrift store is like the very common hardback you see of Little Women. Um, it is published by Amulet. I just saw her. Is it called Amulet? I'm assuming Amulet Publishing. Um, yes, Amulet Books. And it was published in 2019. I swear I just saw her. Yes, so this... Oh, this makes me really excited. <laughs> this has pictures from the Little Women adaptation, which makes me um, very excited because I loved the adaptation. Is this with Timothy? It is! Oh my god, okay, sorry. Um, oh, right here, she's my favourite character, in case you're wondering. Joe, Joe March, my favourite character. Um, anyway, this just really excites me that there is actual photos from the movie adaptation because this movie adaptation is by far my favourite adaptation ever and that's coming from someone who read and watched The Hunger Games. Like that was it for me and this just flew right past it. It was so good. Um, the characters, perfect. Timothy Chalamet as, um, oh my god, what is his name? You would think I would rem remember his name. See, I only remember... The March sisters. I don't remember the males in the story. That's not why I'm here. Anyway, the dude, he's kind of irrelevant in my opinion. I'm, like I said, I'm more focused on the, sis on the sisters. But this is really, you know, again, considering I bought these books, you would think that I would flick through and realize this was like the movie adaptation version. But I didn't. So the last book I have is one that I'm most excited for, for the simple fact that like in years and years to come when I have children, I can read this to them because it is a children's book. It is a children's book. Oh my God. And I'm an early childhood educator as well. So I could totally bring this to work and read it to the kids. They would love it. Um, actually, they probably wouldn't love it. It's not really their cup of tea, but it is literally a picture book of little women are you kidding like i'm so excited i'm so like my kids they're gonna be so over hearing about the march sisters because you best believe i'm gonna be reading this every single night every night like mom can we do something different no no i'm kidding kind of anyway this was also another book i got secondhand which just like oh gosh are you kidding? Oh my god. I, yeah, I could be here all day talking about these. Beautiful. Wait, sorry, I should probably tell you who illustrated and like published this. Hang on. This was published. Um, okay, so it was retold by Maggie Blossom and illustrated by Katarzyna. I don't know how to say your last name. I'm really sorry. I will put it on the screen. And it was published in 2016. So. I don't know why you can get this because like I said I got it second hand but you know it's cute. The publishing um, company by the way is Flower Pot Press which great name. Brownie points for the name. Anyway guys that is it. That is all of the Little Woman books I currently own. I say that because like I said I'm always picking up new books so I may do this video like every year because <laughs> I will have new books every year. Um, but for now, these are the Little Women books that I own. If you have not read Little Women yet, you just need to. I'm sorry, but you just need to. Like, you're really missing out. It is fantastic. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.